So where, where are all the kids? Can you put up your hands? Very good. We're all, all about the place. I okay. guess there's plenty of big kids in here, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so today in our kids' talk, we're going to try and recap some of the things we've learned together over last year and the year before. So I want you to think back to Bernard's sermons and to... Um, Mr Hunt's great drawings and kids' talks and Super Steve's songs, all those things. We're going to try and recap some of those things. Now, there's a particular book that we've been working through and I think Bernard's already given us a few little clues as to what that book is. But I'm going to give a few more clues. And don't just jump in yet. I want you to have a think about what that book is. So here's a few clues. It's from the the New Testament. So that narrows it down quite a bit. It's written by one of Jesus' 12 disciples and that narrows it down a bit further it's actually the first book in the New Testament. So I reckon you guys should be getting pretty close now. And the last clue, it begins with M and rhymes with Matthew. What book is it? Matthew. Good job. <laughs> okay, there are a th- few, few things we've learned so far from Matthew. Um, or, but first we're going to look at um, who he was. So we've learned about what we're going to look at what he wrote in his book. Um, but to try and recall... Um, Some of those things, we've enlisted a friend. So, Matthew, can you come up here, please? Up here, Matthew. Okay, so again, we've got a few clues. Stand up front there, Matthew. We're going to learn a little bit about Matthew and also the book of Matthew by looking at our friend here, Matthew. So, first of all, we can see he's dressed pretty fancy. So, he's got, uh, he's nice, it's it's a royal blue outfit. So, he might not have worn actually blue, but we either had blue or pink to pick from. And so we've gone blue. So he's, he's definitely a little bit more fancy. And so it looks like he would have a little bit of money, I think. And you can see he's wearing an interesting hat. This is a special hat often worn by Jewish men. And I don't know if Matthew actually wore one, but we do know that he was Jewish, which means that he probably had a very good understanding of the Old Testament in the Bible. We've also already forgotten his first prop, but he's also got a little bag there. Give it a jingle. And it sounds like it's got a bit of money in it. And the thing is that Matthew was a tax collector. So what that meant is that he was the one responsible for collecting money, the taxes, on behalf of the Romans. And so what a lot of tax collectors would do, they would collect some money and they'd put a little bit in their own pocket as well. That wouldn't be like you or Lice, would it? No, not at all. So that also made him an outsider. So he wasn't very well liked or accepted, especially amongst his people, the Jewish people. That is, of course, until Jesus actually said, follow me. And that's exactly what Jesus, that's exactly what Matthew did. And he spent lots of time spending time with Jesus, learning about him and learning from him. And eventually he wrote it all down in a book. And that became the book of Matthew, which we're learning from now. Okay, so let's have a look at what we've learned from this book. Um, and we have a few more friends that are going to help us bring up some props along the way to help us remember all the things that we've learned so far from this book in the Bible. So... Number one, Reese, can you bring that up? Yeah. Now, this looks to be a bit of writing. Okay, we've got a scroll. Now, the very first thing that Matthew does in his book is to present a family tree of Jesus. Can everyone see that? And it's called a genealogy. And now you see up the top, it says Abraham, the father of, and there's a whole heap of other names. It's got David, the father of, a whole heap of names. And then down the bottom, it's got Jesus, who is called the Messiah. Now, it shows, as you can see, that Jesus is the promised saviour. And we're shown that he's the son of Abraham, we were shown, (laughs) the son of Abraham through God, through whom God promised to bless all the nations. So he is the promised Messiah. That's one of the things we learned. All right, you can hold that one. Okay, next, what have we got? I think we've got a crown. Paddles? Okay, so a crown can be used for a lot of things, but mainly a crown shows that someone is king. Now, Matthew isn't the king, but he taught, we, Matthew tells us that Jesus is the son of David, which basically means he's in the line of the king, and he's the king sent to rule the kingdom. So we'll give you that one, Elias, or Matthew, sorry. And it also, we, you might remember that uh, Super Steve sang a song saying that he is not the boss and we're not the boss, and he had a little help from a special guest, guest Mr. Baxter, as well, saying that Jesus is the mighty, mighty king. Okay, now we need, Reese. we've got a megaphone. So hold this up. Can everyone see that one? Now, one of the things we learned that Jesus did a lot of was to preach. 
and um, teach to crowds and to his disciples. And one time he stood on a very big, big mountain and preached to a big crowd. And I'm sure he would have liked one of those megaphones, but he didn't need one. He didn't have one. And he didn't need one, though, because he spoke so well and the, um, the people listening listened so well, just like you kids are now. Um, and so he didn't need one of those. Um, But in this sermon on the mount, he taught what it means to be a part of the kingdom and uh, remember that he's the king. So he taught what it's it's like to be part of his kingdom. Okay, Hadley, what have we got next? Okay, this looks a bit like a bandage. We also learnt in Matthew that Jesus went and healed lots and lots of people and uh, lots in dip, over lots of different occasions, um, they had lots of different conditions. We had the, the leper, Peter's mother-in-law, the Roman soldiers, centurion, um, some demon-possessed men, and I think he sent them into the pigs. Um, but he didn't actually need a bandage, though, did he? He basically did it really simply with his words, which I think um, is pretty cool. And sometimes he even did it when he wasn't even in the same room or the same area as that person. So, Matthew, we'll give you your bandage. Okay, now we've got a sign, a special sign, Reese. Do you want to bring this sign up? Come, come over here, sweetie. Oh, yeah, okay. And as you can see, it says help wanted. So Matthew also taught us that there's a big job to be done in saving the lost. He said the workers are plenty, but the har- sorry, the, the harvest is plenty, but the workers are few. And now even though God doesn't need us, um, and he, he's the one who saves, but he's called us to be a part of it. And he wants you and me to tell everyone about Jesus. Give that to Elias. Can you give Matthew? Okay, Hadley, what have we got next? No, Hadley didn't bring this for Bernard's sermon later on. It's the <laughs> pillow, which we, we learnt that Matthew said, um, well, Jesus said, Come to me, all those who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. He wants us to know that Jesus is all the rest and Jesus alone is all the rest and comfort and peace that we need. So, Matthew, you can have your pillow as well. Now, the last thing we've got is a book. One particular thing that we've seen so far from the book of Matthew, or you you can hold that up, Bracey, says Old Testament. Um, And we'll learn this again in Bernard's sermon is that Matthew goes to great lengths. He tries really, really hard to show that Jesus fulfills Old Testament um, prophecy. So the things that were written in the Old Testament about the promised one, Matthew goes to great lengths to show us that Jesus fulfills that. So from his birth, his ministry, um, he's teaching us to be righteous, and then finally for him dying on the cross so that we can be made right with God. All of these things were written hundreds of years before he was born, and they all show that the Bible is about Jesus. And so, kids, when you're doing your kids' sheets today during Burnt Sermon, be listening out too because there's going to be another one of these times where Jesus, or Matthew will refer back to the Old Testament. So be listening out for that one. Um, Before I pray, though, I just want to actually just, I guess, share a couple of little quick blessings from yesterday. There was two big blessings um, that we had in our family. First of all, there was no junior cricket on on Saturday morning, um, so we got to sleep in, and so that was a huge blessing. What we did get to do, though, is actually put all these props together, and we found it was just a really good opportunity for us as a family and as, as for Carl and I as parents to have that opportunity in our home to teach about the book of Matthew. So the kids were running around crazily finding all these things in, in the home, and then we were able to uh, talk about what they, they each meant. And so I guess it's really great that we can come together as a church on Sunday and obviously um, teach the kids as much as we can. I think it's really important in the home as well that we have those opportunities. If you ever get a chance to do kids talk, I think it's a great way to uh, bring that into the home. Um, But obviously just looking for other opportunities as well where you can actually start to talk about the Bible with the kids as well. And I thought there was just a great blessing for our family yesterday. And on that, um, I think we'll pray. Dear Lord, we just uh, thank you for this Um, amazing day that you've given us. Um, You truly are awesome. And uh, we just uh, thank you that we can come together and learn about you. Uh, We thank you that we've got the kids with us here in church and um, they can come freely and um, and worship you. Um, As parents and um, grandparents, uh, uncles and aunties, we also pray for opportunities to teach them and um, that we can help them learn more about about you and um, obviously all that you give us. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.